taking a stand for President Trump today is fighting for free and fair elections and free speech. This is egregious election interference that they are doing, trying to indict President Donald Trump in the middle of a presidential election after they stole our election in 2020. They stole the election, and we all know Trump won. Trump won. We want Trump. We want Trump. We want Trump! We're very loyal people. We're not like Ron DeSantis, right? We are loyal to President Donald Trump, and we're going to stand by him, even if we have to cast a ballot for him on Election Day when he's sitting, if he's sitting in a jail cell in handcuffs. It's a dick! Yes, he is! Trump's 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 a dick! Uh, despite the attacks on him and the weaponized government and this two-tier justice system that wants to go after him for, you know, classified information while not going after people like Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden, that the president still has support. And it doesn't matter what they say about him, how much they lie about him, he's still going to skyrocket in the polls. And people shouldn't be afraid to come out and rally and protest, you know? We're calling it a rally. Some people in the media are calling it a protest. It's really a rally in support of President Trump. But, you know, ever since January 6th, so many people are scared to come out and make their voices heard peacefully because they see how the government entraps people and how uh, how you can be deemed a terrorist and jailed for simply exercising your, your peaceful First Amendment right. So, um, you know, tomorrow's President Donald Trump's 77th birthday as well. It's got to be an awful thing to be going through right now. Uh, non-stop harassment by the DOJ and uh, I am really I would say leading the anti Ron DeSantis uh, pro Trump 2024 movement here in the state of Florida and uh, we need to raise awareness too about the fact that the governor of the so-called free state of Florida who wants to be president didn't even come out here to his own state today to take a stand against weaponized government. So uh, it's really disgusting. I applaud Vivek Ramaswamy for coming out here today, even though he's running against President Trump and you know taking a stand. And those are the kind of leaders we want. And look, does Vivek have a chance to get against Donald Trump? No, but I respect him. And there's a likelihood that I would support somebody like him in 2028 instead of somebody like a Ron DeSantis, who is so sanctimonious, such an ingrate, so despicable, so disloyal loyal, so, um, you know, full of shit, okay? He's a backstabber. And why would I want him? I don't even like the job he's doing as governor. Why would I want him to be president? What so. do you not like about him as a governor? I don't like how he flip-flops, and I don't like how he used uh, the Trump base to get elected, and now he's stabbing them in the back. You know, he praised Donald Trump. He literally dressed his toddlers up in MAGA onesies and had them play make-believe build the wall. And then now he's trying to, you know, run against President Donald Trump and <laughs> dethrone the America First MAGA movement. This is a guy, he's like a Manchurian candidate in a sense, like a Trojan horse who the media has groomed. They like to say, oh, he's like a mini Trump and oh, he'd be perfect, right? You even had people floating the idea of a Trump DeSantis ticket, even though it would be unconstitutional. And the fact of the matter is, is now he's coming out and attacking President Trump and flip-flopping on all of his policies. For example, yesterday, he said that Donald Trump didn't do a good job picking Supreme Court justices, but there's videos of Ron DeSantis praising Donald Trump for his Supreme Court justice picks. Okay, he says that he's for free speech, but he signed a protest law that would criminalize protests in a residential area. Well, if you're in South Florida, everything is a residential area. He changed the Florida resign to run law simply to benefit himself so that he could receive a taxpayer funded salary as governor and run for president. It is so corrupt. He was campaigning illegally on taxpayer dime for at least seven months on this sham book tour that was funded by Rupert Murdoch. And now you see the media, Fox News, is completely in bed with Ron DeSantis. They're paying him millions of dollars through this book tour. It's the most unethical thing I've ever seen in my life. And Vivek Ramaswamy had it right. Right? He's not afraid to come out here and call people out, even though, it, you know, if anything, people are here to support President Trump. It helps Vivek. But... He did it because he said he believes in principles over politics and he's not going to be beholden to the donor class. And that's what Ron DeSantis is doing. He owes his entire political career to President Trump, but because these donors, people like Ken Griffin and others who uh, you know, are multi-billionaires who are funding the DeSantis 2024 campaign, special interests, they're now saying, okay, we're going to fund your campaign and you're going to be anti-Trump. And he's flip-flopping on all of his policies. So look, 
He needs to be doing his job as governor. He's he's an absentee governor. This is what you call dereliction of duty. If we had a strong governor and Florida was really the free state of Florida, the governor would have had an entourage and he would have had a press conference today and he would have made sure that every single Trump supporter here today was protected from police intimidation or weaponization of government by DHS, which is what they're already doing. Thank you. Uh, last question. What do you think will happen with the indictment? I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, th there's no cameras allowed inside uh, the courtroom today, um, which is pretty standard. So we're not going to be able to see uh, any recordings of what's going on. Uh, but regardless of what happens, I predict President Trump is going to skyrocket in the polls a lot. Vivek is probably going to have a bump in the polls, but most of Vivek's supporters are going to support President Trump. I don't think Vivek will be in the White House. If he does, he's going to pardon Trump. That's great. But Vivek will probably get a cabinet position in the Trump administration. You know, I, I think that his America First policies um, speak, right, and resonate to a lot of Trump supporters. But we're very loyal people. We're not like Ron DeSantis, right? We are loyal to President Donald Trump, and we're going to stand by him, even if we have to cast a ballot for him on Election Day when he's sitting, if he's sitting in a jail cell in handcuffs. I don't know. It might. But if it does, we're still going to vote for him. He can pardon himself. He can pardon himself if he wins the presidency. He can pardon himself. Get off me now. Get it the fuck off me. Trump's a dick. Yes, he is. 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 Trump threw the J6ers under the bus, Norman. He's a grifter, a white supremacist, and a freaking racist. Good for nothing, good riddance. Lock his ass up and throw away the key. Trump